This is an ear-fatiguing point source loudspeaker pumping correlated sound waves from a fast-moving diaphragm. This is a DML loudspeaker that emits entirely different uncorrelated sound waves from a flat, wide, resonant panel. And as you'll see in here, DMLs do things point source loudspeakers just can't. For example, do you know any PA loudspeaker accurate enough? A multi-platinum Grammy-winning producer mixes on them in his Nashville studio? How about loudspeakers with a stereo sweet spot as deep and wide as the room? And back to uncorrelated waves, a loudspeaker that can't produce room echo? We'll get back to that astonishing claim later, but let's talk about smaller differences. Outdoors, DML throw is similar to point source, but the difference in coverage is big almost twice the coverage conically as 90 degree point source. Also, you won't have to battle point source cause hot and dead spots because uncorrelated waves don't comb filter. Indoors is where DMLs solve big problems. A recent church customer characterized the difference this way. The difference is absolutely mind-boggling. That customer reaction well captures how much better DMLs sound in highly reverberant spaces. Correlated sound waves create indoor sound problems that uncorrelated DML sound waves are unable to produce. How's that? As this animation attempts to show, point source waves remain correlated as they reflect off hard, flat surfaces. But when diffusing off uneven surfaces, the reflected waves become uncorrelated to their source. Creating non-destructive diffuse sound waves from the start is what makes DMLs behave so differently. Still skeptical? We get it. Check this out. Confirm passengers, please proceed now to meet number 812. Doors will be closing in the next six minutes. Oh! How does a flat panel audio system compare to popular point source systems? As you'll see, the more seats, the greater the DML cost advantage. For a venue size of 150, looking at a JBL VRX 2x2, system costs about 18 grand, with a cost per seat of 121. For a flat panel audio system, it's under 13,000 with a cost per seat of $85. So for loudspeakers, subs, and amps, that yields a 30% savings. Your customer could see a savings of 54 $100 bills, plus money left over for eight Snickers bars from Walmart.com. For a 500-seat venue with a Danley stereo system, the cost is around $27K and a cost per seat of $54. The comparable flat panel system costs $22,700 at 45 per seat. Equipment cost savings come in around 17%. So buying a flat panel system will save the customer a lot of money. For a venue size of 3000, a JBL VTX system with continuous stereo runs close to $473,000 at 95 per seat. A comparable flat panel audio system runs under 260K for $52 per seat. That 45% less nets out to over $200,000. At $150 per square foot, that's about the cost of a 1,400 square foot church, plus a DML 500. <laughs> Superior intelligibility and cost effectiveness aside, what about looks? When it's impractical to acoustically treat a reverberant space, or big, ugly, black box aesthetics won't work for your customer, DML flat panels may be the only way to make a room sound and look good. Closing in the next six minutes. Thanks for listening to us beat our chests. Stay tuned for more self-congratulation. And remember, the earth may not be flat, but the optimal loudspeakers for your next job just might be.